What's going on YouTube? Clover Belts here back with another Series 13 team building video and today we're going to be looking at Victini. So previously uh, we've taken a look at Magirna, we've taken a look at Melmetal and now we can use Victini. I just want to say something again uh, each team that you make in series 13 now just because I say you know we're doing a Mel Metal team we're doing a Victini team or we're doing a Magirna team or whatever you can use all of these on the same team all right I I, I just hope you guys understand that but the main thing is uh, I'm specifically dedicating videos specifically to these mods because these are just like how I would do it you know if I had to use uh, these mods right now that being said can I run Victini and Magirna on the same team absolutely you know, and that's also a combo that works relatively well um, just because of Final Gambit, uh, which is a, a very trademark move that Victini seems to be getting. Um, because with Final Gambit, um, you're able to KO yourself, and then Victini, uh, not Victini, um, Magirna is able to benefit off of the KO. And then if you KO something that's less than base 100 HP, then Magirna all of a sudden gets a plus two boost. But that's besides the point. Um, I just wanted to take a look at Victini as itself on a team that can fully utilize uh, most of its strength, right? Um, but here we are. We have Victory Star here with its ability, and what it does is that it'll increase accuracy of not only Victini itself, but a partner mon by a factor of 1.1. And you can already guess a couple of Pokemon that, you know, if you said, wow, I really wish this move was 100% accurate, then it would be like amazing. And uh, the first thing that comes to mind is, of course, you know, everyone's favorite Sun user, it's gonna be Groudon, right? Groudon very much appreciates uh, Victini's uh, ability because with Groudon, you know, with Presby's Blades, um, you know, with it only being 85% accurate, now you get a 1.1 boost. And if you don't know how to do math, you know, you can always take out your calculator and just really quickly do 85 times 1.1, it becomes 93.5, all right? So then you might say, well, you know, that's that's a little bit better than 85, but you know, it could still miss. I mean, yes, it can, but you know, I, I, I'd rather take that um, than, than an 80% move, right? So um, from here, we're gonna go ahead and add Groudon, uh, of course, and then, you know, with the, the sun from Groudon, right? Now all of a sudden, Victini's trademark move, V Create, um, which is a really strong, if not the strongest uh, attack right now. Um, base 180, you know, uh, with, uh, of course, the accuracy doesn't matter anymore because of Victory Star. But again, base 180 in the sun. Jesus, uh, th this thing is gonna, gonna like one-shot things that you wouldn't expect to one-shot. Um, even things at neutral don't want to take this. So, really, really good partner um, for Victini is Groudon here, right? And of course, another good partner is Venusaur, right? How many times or how many games have y'all lost or won depending on Sleep Powder shenanigans, right? You know, Sleep Powder being only 75% move. Well, now there is an answer, or at least a way to help alleviate that weakness. You've got Victini Victory Star, um, which can boost, you know, the, the Sleep Powder accuracy from 75 to, if we just take out our handy dandy calculator, and again, it's gonna be 82.5, but again, 82% um, is still very, very good. That's almost Precipice Blade's accuracy without any boost. So Venusaur is another Pokemon that can very much benefit um, from Victory Star. Now, where do you go from here? So this is like your, your Sun Core with Victini, Groudon, and Venusaur. Now, what you'll also realize is when you try and use, the more you try and use Victini on a Sun Team, the more you realize Charizard is just kind of better. <laughs> I mean, you got the same base speed, um, you have a stronger special attack with Charizard, you get G-Max Wildfire on top of that, which is probably, quote unquote, even better than V-Create because, you know, you get that damage over time effect. Um, and you don't have that weakness to uh, Calyrex, uh, Shadow Rider, or something like a Lunala, or something like an Eveltal, right? So in that regard, Charizard is better, and you also get Airstream, right? So then why would you not use Charizard and use Victini instead? Well, of course, they're two different Pokemon. They give you different things, uh, like Victory Star, for example, that um, some teams can really, really utilize that Charizard just doesn't give, right? So how are we going to round out the rest of the team? Well. The thing is, um, you, you're, you're considering the weakness to, you know, Shadow Rider, you know, even Lunala to an extent, right? Because of the psychic typing, which really doesn't help any mons right now in VGC because uh, of those two particular Pokemon. Um, and right away, you have to have something that can uh, really neuter that. And I'm already thinking Eveltal, right? So with Eveltal, you do get that Airstream that um, you were missing because without the Charizard. And now you also get that Dark Typing on the team. 
that can, you know, really pin that Calyrex Shadow Rider slot or even the Lunala slot, right? So really, really nice there. And even like an opposing Victini, you can have an advantage over because of the Eveltal stuff. And something like, Gra um, not Groudon, Kyogre, um, which is like the one of the big nemesis of Groudon. Um, if you have like this Eveltal with like a Snarl supporting move, um, especially with an Assault Vest, now that Kyogre has to, you know, think a little bit more. Um, in terms of how it wants to position itself because it doesn't really want to be stuck in a spot where like you're in front of an Assault Vessie Veltal and you're getting snarled and it just doesn't, it's not going to do any damage, right? So there it is. Um, and I think this is like, again, the key four with like Victini, Groudon, Venusaur, and Eveltal. Uh, I think if you had to build a Sun Team, you have to have um, these four and then the rest is like up for grabs. But also, you know, another mod that also did well on Sun Teams that can always put pressure on anything it wants because it is who it is and that's Zacian. And I feel like this is actually the key five um, with that, you know, fairy steel typing, you know, you're the strongest one in the format, you hit really hard, you hit really fast. Um, and now you have that fairy typing that can do well against an opposing Eveltal um, because Eveltal is on pretty much every single team. So you need something to check that and the Zacian can very much do that um, in that regard. And you know, something also that Waltz wants to benefit from Airstream um, because then you become faster than the Shadow Rider and then you can become faster than a Regilecki. So, you know, it, very it, these two have been partners for a while. Eveltalization was always a thing in Series 12 and now they can be even more uh, of best buds in Series 13 and now they got some new friends with Groudon and Victini on, on this team. So, this is the five, right? And if you've um, been paying attention to like some of these tours or even like some ladder stuff, uh, a lot of people have this five and then this six slot is like filler. Like there's a lot of things you can have in this six slot. Um, but let's look at what we have so far, right? The Venusaur helps you, um, you know, in that Kyogre matchup, you know, if you go against the Kyogre, uh, more chip damage, you get sleep powder pressure, of course. Um, you know, it's just a mod that's really, really good. Uh, especially now with Victini where you can have sleep powder outs that are actually accurate. Um, but yeah, and then again with Groudon, you pressure opposing Zacians, um, you can pressure an opposing Victini, you can pressure Magirna, um, Melmetal, you know, these big steel types are always weak to ground types, so Groudon can help fulfill that role right there, and at the same time, you're enabling your Victini with this broken V-Create move, right? So, where do you want to go from here? Um, so I, I've seen a lot of things. Yeah, I've seen Grimmsnarl, uh, on this team, uh, it, because like screen support for this kind of bulky team is very much appreciated, right? Because then if you run either Assault Vest Groudon or Assault Vest Eveltal, and then they're hiding behind the screens, they just don't die, right? They just kind of sit there in front of things and just chip it down until, you know, the game is pretty much over. Zacian is also something that very much appreciates screens. You know, it's already got good bulk, might as well add to it with screens. And then Grimstone can also give you moves like Scary Face or Speak or, um, you know, Thunder Wave for that regard, or even like Trick. Uh, with the lag with the iron ball set Okay, um, you can get speed control that way um, But ultimately you, if you do trick and one of these speed control moves uh, Let's say like scary face then you have to do like, you know spirit break uh, And maybe one of the screens like either light screen or reflect I'll just put reflect just for the sake of it You know a lot of different sets you can run on this grim snarl uh, for this kind of team depending on how you want to approach it um, I've also seen incinera on this you know, now with Incineroar, you get access to Fake Out, you get access to Intimidate, you know, Parting Shot, Pivoting, Positioning, um, something also that wants to benefit off of the Dark Aura from Eveltal, so really, really good there. Uh, I think it, where it makes a lot of sense. Um, some people have done Calyrex Shadow Rider. Um, you know, just, again, Shadow Rider has always done well on a Sun Team, you know, because you get all this chip damage done from a Venusaur, and then Calyrex and Zacian can just come in from the back and, you know, just finish things off you know, after uh, the Vine Lash chip is all said and done. Um, you also get access to something like Snarl, uh, Will-O-Wisp, you know, just to like neuter, you know, either special attackers or physical attackers and boosted Snarl with the Veltal is always really, really nice. So can't argue with that. Um, but the thing is now, uh, okay, maybe a little bit too weak to the Shadow Rider, but still this is okay. I digress, all right? So the one match, I, I'm not gonna use any of those three, by the way. Um, you can also see use like Regilecki. Oh, that's Reggie Drago. Um, but Regilecki, now you get access to Electroweb um, if you wanna go that route, or you can do like Wild Charge with Bounce. You know, Bounce for, you know, another Airstreamer. 
it, uh, just something else that that can give you a little bit more speed control so it's really really nice um but i'm thinking of along the lines of this i'm thinking lunala on this kind of team right lunala and grad on venusaur have always done relatively well uh and you know especially in this kind of format i think it's very very strong uh now you might say well now you have two psychic types on the team well that's okay um, because we have this Ebelto, and that's why the Ebelto is so important here. And I, I would rather have Lunala than Calyrex Shadow Rider on this kind of team. Why? Because, you know, you're already a bulky team as it is. Um, why not, like, further cement that bulk with uh, a bulky, aggressive Trick Room setter like a Lunala? And by the way, in terms of Trick Room, Victini also gets Trick Room. Um, so now you have access to two Trick Room mods that can set up, uh, and then Lunala can uh, also Dynamax and go for Phantasm Defense Drops, which is great for Groudon, great for Zacian, and even great for Victini, because Victini, um, you know, with physical moves like V-Create, uh, can really, really uh, hit like a truck. So that was my thought process here. So if we can get, you know, Lunala set up and go for those Phantasm drops, we have a lot of Pokemon on this team that can really, really benefit off of that. So that's my idea there. And uh, from here, now it's just all about building the team in terms of Eevees, items and movesets right but you can kind of see how i bet how the squad has come together in terms of what it's trying to do and how it functions um but now of course uh, we have to finish off the team so let's go ahead and reveal the gifs we start with victini then we have the groudon and the venusaur for our sun core uh, and then we balance the team out with eveltal and zation um, just to have a lot of answers into a lot of different things in the meta and a little bit more speed control with the Ibalto because of Airstream and more speed control because of Lunala and it's it being a bulky trick room setter. So that's the six. So let's, now let's go ahead and uh, finish off uh, the rest of the team. All right, so let's uh, talk about how we're going to run Victini here. And uh, some of this might surprise you a little bit, um, but... You know, one of these things is going to get a sash. <laughs> like, whether it's the Victini or the Venusaur, or someone's getting a sash. Um, but we'll see who's getting the sash in terms of how I want to build this team. So, from here, V-Create is really, really nice. I do, in fact, like Final Gambit on this team. This just invalidates any Pokemon that doesn't have a base 100 stat or, or more, right? So, like, think of Groudon, right? And opposing Groudon with base 100, right? Victini can just take that out of the equation with Final Gambit. Um, think of like Kyogre, same thing, more or less, right? Another thing that can just drop uh, from Final Gambit. Um, you know, some of these Pokemon that are like even Zacian just drops stuff. Not that you would need it, but in case you do, um, you have that option. Yeah, again, really, really good. It gives you an out, right? It just gives you like, here, this is a problem. Let's take it out and let's use the rest of our three slots to deal with whatever's left. I do like Trick on Victini on this kind of team. Um, I've seen some stuff like Wild Charge. I don't think you need Wild Charge with the Venusaur on the team and the Delta. Um, you know, I, I, I know the Wild Charge is for like, you know, Kyogre stuff, but I don't think it's necessary. Um, protect in the last slot, right? So this is our this is our moveset. And from here, you know, I really like V-Create with Trick Room, right? Because you can drop your speed by one, and all of a sudden now you can become the fastest thing on the team uh, under Trick Room. And I'm going to go with the Life Orb set here uh, just because I want to be an aggressive Pokemon. Like, look at look at Victini stats. Right, base 100s on everything. So that means 100 for HP, 100 for defense, 100 for special defense. That's actually quite bulky. And uh, I'm going to sacrifice all that speed on Victini here and just go for like max HP and you know a decent amount of bulk calcing for things, um, which I'll get to in a second once we finish off the items and movesets on the rest of the team. But you'll see in the practice game um, that I'm going to show you where the bulk comes in handy uh, when we do our EV spread. But more on that in a bit. But this is the moveset that we're gonna be running on Victini. Groudon here, so like now you have to make a decision. Do you want the Assault Vest on Eveltal or do you want the Assault Vest on Groudon? And for me, the way I wanna try and play this kind of six is I'm going to put the Assault Vest on this Groudon. And in the past, you know, I, I wasn't really the biggest advocate for Assault Vest Groudon. I would always use Citrus Berry and, you know, Swords Dance set, um, you know, just to like help me counteract like the Incineroar stuff, but like, I've seen the drop in Incineroar. I've seen um, the 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 rise in like Shadow Rider on every single team, which pretty much invalidates the berry, right? So now we need another item. I think Wider makes a lot of sense. I think I think even Lumberry makes a lot of sense um, if you want to try that route because like these Calyrex uh, teams are running, you know, Willowisps, and one way to deal with the ground is to just burn it, right? So 
I think the Lum makes a lot of sense, the Wider makes a lot of sense, but I think the Assault Vest this time around is going to be good um, just because of the move coverage it's going to get and just being able to sit in front of things like, you know, um, Palkia or even like Kyogre and not have to really worry about it, even like the Shadow Rider. Um, and just everything just does very minimal damage and you're getting quick boosts off as well So I think it helps uh, ground out a lot there, but anyway Precipice Blades of course it's signature move You got to have that it's the thing that gets boosted from uh, victory star so you might as well have that there um, I do think fire punch is better now um, than something like heat crash um, just because things are heavy <laughs> All right, and fire punch is very very strong still, you know, you get max flare access So you can always change the weather against Kyogre if you ever have to um, and it's boosted uh, because you have the sun out. Um, I do think Heavy Slam is also pretty cool here. Um, being able to go for Steel Spikes. Um, you know, you don't really have Intimidate on the team. So having a Steel Spike is essentially more or less the same thing. Um, so uh, having access to that um, is also very much appreciated. And then from here, um, you can go a couple of things. You can go like Stone Edge. You can go something like Rock Slide. You can do something like Shadow Claw. You know, this was like the other Clover tech, right? With um, Groudon, with Shadow Claw, because now again, you have those defense drops, um, something to help, you know, even Victini benefit off of, uh, or even Zacian in the end game benefit off of, right? So you can always go the Clover tech Shadow Claw in that regard. Um, I still like Rock Slide, uh, just so that, uh, you know, I see that uh, we do have to deal with some flying types on the team, not on the team, opposing teams like any Velto, like maybe a Charizard, and we wanna have our good rock coverage move against that. And I think Rock Slide makes a lot of sense. If you like Stone Edge, definitely go for Stone Edge. If you like Shadow Claw, definitely go, go for Shadow Claw and Max Phantasm. But uh, for my preferences, I'm gonna go with Rock Slide here. Okay, from there, uh, the, oh, I just clicked the uh, the plus on by accident. Now I have to almost, uh, oh no, I'm, I'm okay. All right, Venusaur. So again, this is gonna be our focus Ashman of choice because we put the Life Orb on the Victini. Um, as opposed to putting the Life Orb on the Venusaur. I do like having the Life Orb on Victini, by the way, in this kind of team. Um, but anyway, um, Frenzy, no, Leaf Storm. I do like Leaf Storm. Uh, then you have Earth Power and then Weather Ball, right? So again, Weather Ball becomes Max Flare. You can do this against a lot of the bulky Steel types in the meta. Um, not, and I know you got Victini and Groudon for those, but you know, it, all, it always helps to have a Venusaur with Weather Ball on the team. Max Quake also, um, also really, really nice. And again, the boosted accuracy of Sleep Powder thanks to Victini, right? Always very much appreciated. All right, now, and because we have the Assault Vest on the ground in here, how do we want to run the Eveltal? Uh, I'm gonna tell you if we got safety goggles. Uh, I think goggles makes a lot of sense on Eveltal considering Venusaurs uh, now have boosted Sleep Powder, <laughs> okay? So that's always more problematic and I think it's more all the more reason to run like a safety goggles uh, on this kind of Eveltal. And not only that, um, now what we can do is because we freed up the Assault Vest, now we can go for another speed control move and I'm already thinking of Tailwind Eveltal. There it is. So remember back in uh, the Series 13 announcement video that we did, uh, I did mention that Ivelto has a chance to play multiple roles on a lot of different teams because of the access to different moves and how you want to play it. And this is what I, I think you can do with Ivelto now. You can run Tailwind on it. You know, we don't have Whimsicott. There's no Tornadus here. So Ivelto with the only restricted um, that gets access to Tailwind. I know a lot of people were typing, oh, there are other Pokemon that get a Tailwind that, that, you know, that are restricted that isn't Ivelto. Incorrect, you did not look at the list. Eveltal is the only one that gets Tailwind, okay? Go ahead and add me in the comments if you still don't believe me, but again, it is the only one uh, of the of the restricted that gets Tailwind. So from here, how do we want to round it off? Oblivion Wing, of course, standard, um, you know, recovery move, max airstream access. Again, Snarl is really good, you know, just neuter special attackers like a Palkia, for example, uh, like a Kyogre. Uh, really really good and now Tailwind you make Groudon really fast you make Victini really fast you, you even make your Lunala really fast you know if you if this Lunala outspeeds Calyrex Shadow Rider that's it it's game over Shadow Rider ain't doing anything all right and then we have of course foul play really good against other physical Pokemon like a Groudon like a Calyrex uh even like an opposing Lunala or an opposing Calyrex for that rider you can even use this against Zacian um also really really good um, of course, but yeah, so Tailwind's really good here uh, along with uh, the two support moves and the, the max airstream access. Zacian, Behemoth Blade, of course, um, 
play rough, the, the two stat moves, Sacred Sword, um, you know, you gotta have something to kick Mel Metal in the mouth with, right? Um, and then finally protect. Okay, Lunala, so, you know, meter, be, ugh. well, that already just gives away the set I was gonna run, but we'll get to that in a second. Um, of course, Moonguy's Beam, um, and then, you know, Power Meteor Beam is always really, really nice. Uh, now you get access, you know, to stuff that you want to click against opposing flying types like an Evelto, like a Charizard, and now you have a plus one boost, and then now Lunala is free to Dynamax and do a lot of damage. And then you do get access to Trick Room, okay, and then Protect. Now, that being said, if you are one of those few that like to run Wide Guard on Lunala, I don't like it. Uh, but if you are someone that likes to use it, go ahead and use it. Uh, but again, Protect is uh, very, very nice on, on Lunala here. And you can kind of see how the team has come together in, in terms of what it's trying to do. Like, you can even lead, like, Evelto Lunala. You know, maybe even just Protect. Like, if they want to lead Caloric Shadow Rider, for example. Like, if you see, oh, he's got a Victini, he's got a Lunala, I'm just going to lead Shadow Rider. Well, yeah, but the thing is, you can just Protect and lead Evelto and then Snarl it. And now, what's it doing? Because then... Uh, the, the, the Astro Barrage is just not KOing and now you're free to get up that Trick Room, right? So, really much appreciated uh, in terms of the partner mod with Eveltal and Lunala here. Uh, but now, we've got the item, we've got the moves. Now, let's just talk about the EVs. This is the nitty-gritty part of the channel. So, let's see how we do our numbers. And again, I'll always accompany them with damage counts after we uh, showcase the EVs. So, let's take a look at uh, Victini first. Okay, so with Victini here, um, I'm just gonna go, honestly, I'm just gonna go like Adamant. I don't need to go Brave, for example. I'm not really outspeeding anything. Um, I think uh, I, I think of this as like Palkia, right? Palkia still ran Modus and like either no speed and then just made it really, really bulky. So that's how I kind of view Victini. And, you know, I'm I'm already thinking, uh, first of all, max HP for the final Gambit bonus. I just need one point in speed. That's really all I need. One point in speed. Um, and this 121 mark is always like a little VGC benchmark where you outspeed an opposing Thunderous uh, Speed Creeper by, uh, you know, with the plus one airstream. Not that Thunderous is common anymore in Series 13, but it was uh, one of those key trademark numbers. Now from here, where is my bulk gonna go? So um, I, this is one of the few times where I have to invalidate my Life Orb rule where we optimize uh, for the Life Orb chip, but because we want the the final, the full utilization of final gamut, we have to go max HP here, right? But from here, I still have 252 EVs to play with, so I'm just gonna go a little bit, I'm just gonna go first bump in the, in the attack stat, right, which is 143. That's all I need, okay, because from here, after the first bump, I still have 176 EVs to play with, and I was just messing around with the damage cards a little bit. Um, with this investment of 116, okay, um, you can survive a Max Quake from a Calyrex Ice Rider, you can survive Brown on Precipice Blades, um, and even some degree you can even survive like Palkia stuff after you have this remaining um, 60 Special Defense uh, investment. So I really like this bulky Victini spread. Um, and again, I know we sacrificed some of the attack, but we have the Life Orb anyway. And Victini is more of that hybrid role. Well, yes, it can put on pressure, but it also um, is a supportive Trick Room on with stuff like Final Gambit and Trick Room, right? So. Um, that's how I like to view Victini here. And, you know, you can always live also the Shadow Rider Ash Barrage as well. So, really, really nice there. I think it makes a lot of sense uh, to run a, a bulky Victini in this regard, right? If you can do it with Palkia, you can do it with Victini. Um, especially with all these uh, base 100 bulk. Alright, Groudon. Um, very standard Assault Vest that we can do. I uh, Instead of, like, 112, which is, like, relatively standard because after Airstream, you outspeed a base 100 like a Charizard, for example. I want to go to 113 just to outspeed those speed creepers. Um, I do like to have um, this investment of potentially 156 or even 164 in the attack stat, um, which is basically the second bump. And what I mean by the bump is in the natured stat, um, after every 80 EVs, you get a plus two bonus in the final stat. So for example, here you see how if I drop it down to 148, um, my attack stat is 207, but if I invest that last bit of ADVs, beep, it went to 209. This is what we call the second benchmark in the EV spread. And again, if you don't know how to do EV benchmarks or EV uh, bumps, we made a whole video on that a couple months ago. So give that a watch on the channel if you haven't done so already. But from here, I'm just going to go almost max HP here. Uh, and then just a tiny bit of defense just to... You know, get uh, a good bonus uh, with the max steel spike, and then the rest can go into special defense. And I'm still look and 
Again, I want that nice even number, uh, not only for the max quake boost, but because I have an assault vest here with a 1.5 boost. And if I have an odd number like this, um, then my final stat in the special defense is 0.5. Um, and which ultimately rounds down. So I'm not getting the best bang for my buck with the assault vest. That's why you want an even number here. So this way, when you do the multiplier factor with the assault vest, it's a nice whole number as opposed to a decimal. All right, Venusaur, this is the easy spread here. All right, we got Timid, uh, max speed, max special attack, and that's really all you need. Nothing else needs to be said uh, with this Venusaur because you have an assault vest, right? Um, Eveltal, and again, you know, a lot of these Eveltals, they're not max speed, but, you know, I don't think that's the, I don't think that's the way. I think you gotta go max speed here, because now you can win all those speed ties, uh, against an Eveltal, because you are timid max speed. Some of them are just going up to a certain point, um, just, just to, like, outspeed certain other threats, like, for example, timid Kyogre, but, you know, I'm just gonna go max speed, you know, that's, that's, that's okay. And again, uh, I'm just going to use uh, our old Eveltal spread here, you know, just to optimize the HP for the weather damage, uh, you know, against like Rockfall or even like Hailstorm stuff. And then just a little bit of bulk here. Um, and then just one point in special attack. We have no offensive damage cock that we have to take into account. So, you know, you might as well just put it just one point there. That's really all we need. This is like, uh, again, like Victini, a supportive set where like, yes, you can deal some damage, but you're really out here just to be annoying with Snarl and Foul Play stuff along with Tailwind Pressure, right? So that's the whole idea with our Eveltal here. Um, and then with Zacian, you know, I, I, I've been using the same Zacian stuff um, since Series 11. But again, what you can do now, um, I'll, I'll show you this speed here, um, is you can go to, I believe, right here. Uh, no, wait a minute, sorry. Uh, where was it? 190 yeah you can do 195 right this will out 194 technically um this will outspeed venusaurs in the sun right let me after a plus one so let me just do some quick math here 194 times 1.5 yeah so two, 194 with an airstream boost goes to 291 which outspeeds an opposing venusaur uh in the sun by one point because 145 times two is 290 um zation after a plus one airstream uh, will become 291 and you can outspeed Venusaur that way. So if you're if that's something you want to do Then this is the spread for you. You go first EV bump here in the attack stat. Um, you can go um, Just one point in the the bulk like this All right, and then the rest just gets dumped into HP like this. Th this is a Azation that is built to do that outspeed Venusaur and the rest just goes into the HP and you know the first EV bump in attack um, If you like that stick with this um, I'm just going to go with our normal stuff here. Uh, I just want to outspeed a Leki after a plus one. So I'm going to go to 187. I want to outspeed those speed creepers. Um, I'm going to drop it down to a little bit of 191 here. Um, that's another VGC benchmark for that HP stat because of the weather stuff. Um, and also the wildfire damage ship. I do like second EV bump here in the attack stat. And this is a very hard hitting Zation, by the way. So I always like a very hard hitting Zation. Um, I always like to play it a little bit adamant and a little bit more bulkier and a little bit slower. This is it. Uh, I've never had a trouble. I never had any problems with this Asian. Lunala. All right. So I like I like our old Lunala set where we were relatively slow, um, where we only went up to like maybe about 125-ish, right? Something like that. 124, if anything. But I'm going to take a different route with Lunala this time. And instead, we're still going to go modest. But hear me out, we're going to go max speed Lunala. And it hits a very important number of 149. Uh, what 149 does after an airstream, now you outspeed the Calyrex Shadow Rider. And that's very, very good. And also Tailwind, you by far outspeed Regilecki as well. Um, so that's always nice. And it's nice. It's a nice surprise to the opponent. They think you're bulky. Uh, I mean, they think you're slower. And all of a sudden, you whip out a very fast Lunala and that, that can throw off their game plan. Um, we're still going second bump here in the modest nature, which is 180. You can see how you went from 196 to 180. Here's that benchmark. Just one point in the, the two bulk defenses here, and then the rest just gets dumped into HP, something like this, right? So that's our fast Lunala spread, okay? And I think it just makes a lot of sense on this kind of team. All right, so yeah, that's our EV spread. And here, let's just go ahead and uh, upload on the Clover paste. Uh, I call it Clover Teeny. Sounds like a sounds like an alcohol drink. <laughs> Not a Martini, but a Clover Teeny. But yeah, this is it. I, I like how this team looks right, right? Because you got the Sun Boys, 
Venusaur, Groudon, and Victini. You got the support with the Beltal. You got the big, uh, the big bad dog in the back with Zacian, and then Lunala is that uh, bulky Trick Room setter that maybe you know some matchups maybe you can't bring Victini, and sometimes it's just a little bit better to bring Lunala. All right, and again on a team where you have um, sources of Airstream, Trick Room, and Tailwind, that makes a team very difficult to play against. So I always like to give flexible options. Uh, when I make my squad so this way there's different modes that you can play on the team and you have different ways uh, of using those modes in a best of three tournament for example right so that's how we have to make this kind of squad here I do want to showcase one battle with it and again if you don't know where to play the series 13 ladder um, maybe by the time this recording goes live um, the ladder will be officially out on the original showdown server but um, if it's not uh, then again we've been playing on the legacy server site uh, which is basically showdown but the legacy site um so i leave the description i leave the link in the video description so if you want to play series 13 ladder um that's the place to play it uh but yeah let's go ahead and take a look at some damage counts first um and then we'll show you a, a practice game all right so this is the the part of the video where we we really make uh our our, our bread for our money here so let, let's look at victini calcs here and see what exactly does our spread uh, survive. So uh, if you know me, I'm more of a defensive calc person than an offensive calc person, right? So uh, let's take a look. So with Groudon, let's say we're looking at the typical second EV bump uh, Groudon here. So uh, first of all, you live the Precipice Blades. Uh, believe it or not, you live it. Like that's what I'm saying, like the teeny so bulky. Even if this was like max HP, I'm not max HP, max attack item and Groudon, you are living that Precipice Blades, right? You're not gonna live Max Quake, all right? Unless you have a Steel Spike loose, but um, you can live um, the Precipice Blades, uh, which is really, really helpful here. And not only that, look at this. Look at the look at the Calyrex Calc. Let's look at both Calyrexes, actually. So let's say um, 252 Adamant Calyrex, all right? And if it goes for Max Quake, all right? We are surviving the Max Quake, all right? So if they think they're gonna KO you, they are not. Okay, unless they have a, a boost, or unless you've taken some chip damage already, um, this Max Quake is not gonna kill you, all right? And then what about the other Calyrex? The Shadow Rider, okay? If it's non-Life Orb, all right, this is a Life Orb one. That also, that, oh, that's Dynamax. The Life Orb one kills, but if it's just a standard Focus Sash Calyrex, you also live that. You live in Astro Barrage. Look, look at this, we're, we're living things. Now let's look at Kyogre and Palkia stuff. You know what Kyogre loves to do, you know, or you know what pa Palkia likes to do. The Water Spout, the Geysers, okay? Let's look at Palkia first. Palkia, let's say Life Orb Max, um, you know, Geyser. Let's let's look at this one. Uh, yeah, let's do this one. 252 Modest Life Orb Palkia, okay. Um, it absolutely just destroys um, Victini, right? You can kill two Victinis, but what if the sun was already out? Let's say you pivot in Groudon and it was going for Max Geyser to stop Victini, and you know, you whip out Groudon, you put the sun out, look at this, all right? You have the calc, okay? 252 um, HP and 60 special defense, all right, 6.3% chance, all right? Some of them are not even sp a max special attack anymore, all right? They're, they're more going for bulk because they want to survive Zacian uh, play rough. So you're, you're, you're gonna be living this. You're gonna either flip Trick Room or get Trick Room up, okay? Um, let's look at Kyogre. Uh, it's more or less the same thing. You know, you just have to pivot in Grana and you survive. So um, let's go with a standard setting. Let's say a 252 Mystic Water set Gra uh, Kyogre here. So um, you look at this. Again, we get the sun up. We're living that 84 to 99.5 percent chance. We just barely live it, but we are going to survive it. All right, we're going to get Trick Room up or potentially flip it. All right, and um, we're just going to be chilling from there. Okay, by the way, look at this. We create... 42 damage percent. I mean, even in the sun against a Kyogre, that's pretty good. Um, uh, you know, it's resisted anyway. But yeah, we're, we're living Kyogre as well. So like, hello. <laughs> All right. And then, uh, of course, we're living Water Spout anyway in the sun uh, because we, we pivoted in our Groudon. So we're living a lot of things. We're, we're living Kyogre. We're living Groudon. We're living Calyrex Ice. We're living Calyrex Shadow. Those are the four big monsters against Victini. And because of this bulk, all right, and because we have access to sun, we can survive the hits. And that's why I like um, this kind of spread on this kind of team, right? So hopefully you appreciate it. Hopefully um, it, you, you get to utilize some of it. All right, but let's look at a couple of others. 
All right, the other one I did want to show you was Groudon versus Kyogre with the Sun in the Assault Vest. So again, uh, with the Sun out, if you pivot it in to take that Water Spout, it can do half, maybe, maybe it doesn't. Um, it really depends on the spread. And even if it gives you a max geyser to the mouth, 70% uh, is not good. Uh, but again, you do take it. Uh, and then if you are Dynamax, um, Max Geyser barely does anything, right? And even just a water spot also just doesn't do a whole lot. Um, the Assault Vest Groudon is very, very strong. Uh, you don't even need Grimstone screens in this case uh, because, you know, the, the Kyogre just gets neutered. Like, this is a modest 252 Mystic Water set. Um, it's not like we, we took away any of a Kyogre special attack bust. Um, but yeah, I definitely like Groudon Assault Vest. Uh, you know, I've, I've always been the advocate of Citrus Berry with Sword Dance. But that was in, like, Series 12 stuff or even like a single restricted format. I guess, I think in this kind of format, um, you do want the Assault Vest. So uh, just understand that it can live Kyogre and then you also know that you can live Palkia stuff, right? Um, in, in that regard. So I, I do like that, uh, but yeah, I, I digress. Uh, but now let's take a look at a sample battle uh, where we can see this team uh, do something. Okay, so here's our sample battle that uh, I, I can show you here. Now, I just want to say, look, I, I waited like, I waited more than 10 minutes for this game. Like, all right, granted I was waiting, uh, I was trying to play this at three in the morning and I don't think anyone's awake at that time, uh, but it's just the only time I had to record. But like, I waited for 10 minutes for one game. So after one game, I was like, all right, screw that. We're, we're, we're making the video. <laughs> I don't have time to showcase two or three games. That I can't wait that long. Um, but yeah, here we go. So they got another Trick Room team with the Big Teeny, might I add. And they got Mel Metal, Groudon, and Calyrex Ice Rider. Okay, so the the first thing I'm thinking about is okay, uh, it's the Trick Room more, right? Who's getting Trick Room up? Who needs it more? They need it more, right? Because we have the faster team. So what we need to do is stop them by flipping the Trick Room and putting all the pressure on them. Uh, because if they have Trick Room up, they have the advantage and they can beat us. Um, so already I'm thinking, um, let's go with Lunala and Eveltal here because. Um, what we can do is if they lead Regilecki, for example, then we can always pivot out into Groudon and that's not going to kill Lunala. If they go with Porygon stuff, uh, along with Victini or Groudon, Yveltal can just put uh, pressure right from the get-go and so can Lunala for that matter. Um, because, you know, we have access to the rock move um, and we can also um, just, uh, you know, click foul play against certain things. Uh, but yeah, we, we, we have the options. And if it's Mel Metal in the lead, then we just, you know, we get... Uh, we don't have to click Trick Room, we just put pressure on it and then just finish things off in the back with like Zacian, for example, or even Groudon. So, uh, I'm gonna lead with Groudon and Lunala instead, uh, and they go with Victini and Porygon. So, uh, again, I, I set the Sun here just so that I can get our Victini in position in the back um, to do something, and I did bring um, the Zacian, for example. So, um, from here, he's got Victini, he's got Porygon, so he has two Trick Room setters himself. Um, he might try to flip my trick room uh, in that regard, uh, so I do uh, want to be aware about that. But uh, unfortunately for me, I get this turn I, <laughs> I get this turn one wrong. Instead of trying to flip the trick room, um, he he does it with the other slot instead and just goes for a final gambit um, and kills my Grana and his Victini goes down. So I got that wrong, um, and I wanted to meter beam the the Victini, but that obviously uh, did not work out. Okay. So, um, he's got Trick Room up, uh, which is the one thing I didn't want him to do, but he got it up anyway, and that's very resistant uh, against Lunala, Lunala over here. Uh, but all is not lost, because now we're going to bring out our bulky Victini, and there is the Calyrex Ice Rider. Okay, so, uh, here's the thing. Alright, he might think he can just KO this thing. Okay, if this is a weakness policy max attack, he's not going to KO it unless he crits. Okay, and now I have a chance um, to flip the Trick Room. On him with a uh, Victini. Now, um, the Porygon, I he, he has a lot of options, right? Like he can even like self-proc his policy with foul play into his calorie to get the policy that way. Um, but then by doing that, um, you risk me flipping the trick room with the Lunala slot, right? So I think he just clicks Eerie Impulse on the Lunala and tries to go for the Victini here. That's like the mid-ground play. You know, he doesn't want to fully commit in one slot because if he tries to go for the Lunala, then the Victini just kills him, right? Because of V-Create in the Sun. So I think he just wants to go for the Victini and then instead of worrying about the Lunala, neuter it with Eerie Impulse. So this way he's playing the, the best of both worlds here. And that's exactly what he does. Uh, but take a look at what happens um, because he does that. There's the Dynamax and he, we have the Dynamax Lunala as well. I don't want this thing to, to like just perish, um, but here it is. 
So he goes for the Max Quake, we live, and, you know, we get some um, defense drops. All right, so there's the Eerie Impulse. All right, now, I know we proc this policy, but that's not going to matter uh, because we have the speed advantage back on our favor because we were able to flip the Trick Room because our bulky Victini survived the Max Quake. All right, and now, all of a sudden, what looked like a, a, a losing game is now, all of a sudden, in favor of us because even though Lunala is minus one, um, Victini has all this pressure against the Calyrex uh, and the Porygon because Lunala Dynamax and we got those defense drops. Exactly what I wanted. And now he has to think about, well, where is this going? The thing is, I'm not going to click the Victini move into the Calyrex. I want to click it into the Porygon. It's more of the threat because it walls the Lunala. The Calyrex, uh, it, it's not going to do much. Even, even if it were to pick up the KO on the Victini afterwards, I have Zacian in the back. I can always just one-shot it. And I still have Lunala on the field as well. So I'm going for the Porygon and he max guards. So that's perfect, right? Because I keep the pressure on the Calyx by committing with the Lunala. And then I just get rid of the Porygon um, by, you know, using our Victini. And now guess who comes in? Zacian gets to finish the job. And there's a Mel Metal. All right. I, last I checked, we outspeed that. <laughs> so now guess what we're gonna do of course only one thing to do kill the calyrex okay and then lunala can just finish things off uh, from here you know phantasm that's all i really need that's so much damage you know because melmetal doesn't have the greatest of special defenses double iron bash by the way that was a life orb melmetal so our bulky zation can also live life orb melmetal double iron bash which is amazing all right and now we just do one thing and one thing only sacred sword and that's it and but of course he's not going to give us the chance to do it because he just clicks the forfeit button right so that's why you have lunala on this team all right you see the full benefit right away from the first game and you see the beauty of having the bulky victini spread you we we showcased everything i wanted to showcase with the team in one game <laughs> all right the only thing we didn't get to do was do sun stuff with Groudon and venusaur and maybe ebelto but ebelto is like for you know shadow rider stuff Oh, but yeah, let me know what you think of this team. Oh, by the way, let's go to the uh, let's go to the pace, and then we'll do the conclusion. <laughs> okay, here's here's the Poke Pace once again. So again, let me know what you think of Clover Teeny and this kind of team. Let me know if you think you're gonna try it uh, again. Multiple modes. You got Tailwind, the Veltal on the team for the fast mode. You got Slow Mode with Trick Room on Victini and Lunala. All right, and bulky Victini not expected. Okay, so you're gonna surprise some people with your damage calcs. All right, and then you'll thank me later. Okay. And of course, we have a standard ground on Assault Vest with Venusaur and Enzation as well, right? So let me know what you think of this team. If you are interested in, you know, doing EV spreads and building a team like this with me, uh, that is a tier three sub to the channel. Take a look at the video description. The link is there. We've had a lot of subs throughout the, the last few months um, that are very interested in team building with me. So hope uh, glad I was able to help them out. Um, so definitely take a look there. Or if you already have a team and want to submit it to me and have me review it and take a look at it and make it even better that is a tier two sub to the channel that is team fixing all right you've seen how we've done those videos more or less the same way um but yeah definitely take a look at that um and then just message me the team on discord or twitter and then um you know we'll go from there so uh we'll be back with another video guys until next one peace out and have a good night